Professor Miller and fellow classmates. In this briefing, I'll be discussing military surplus and reuse rotorcraft for the civilian market. Once an aircraft is purchased or donated from the military, it falls under the purview of the FAA for usage. I will discuss how these aircraft can be purchased, the restrictions of use, and the legal impacts of operating these rotorcraft in the civilian world. The Defense Logistics Agency Disposition Services is responsible for the disposal of excess slash surplus property received from the United States military services. Property ranges from clothes to vehicles. Property is first offered for reuse within the Department of Defense, transferred to other federal agencies, or donated to state and local governments and other qualified organizations. Military surplus helicopters can be used in the civil market, but only for certain applications. Part 21.25 of the Federal Aviation Regulation states that an aircraft previously used by the U.S. Armed Forces can be issued a type certificate in the restricted category for use if it meets the noise requirements of the Code of Federal Regulations Part 36 and is of a type that has been manufactured in accordance with the requirements of an armed force of the United States and has later been modified for a special purpose. These special purpose operations include agricultural, forest and wildlife conservation, aerial surveying, patrolling, weather control, aerial advertising, any other operations specified by the FAA. Operating restrictions are laid out in Part 91.313. It states that you can't carry passengers for hire and you can't operate a restricted category civil aircraft in the United States over densely populated areas. And lastly, to wrap it up, foreign military aircraft that are flown in the public use sector are not subject to the regulation of the FAA when it comes to carrying passengers or operating over congested areas. It all comes down to liability, as public use is not under the authority of the FAA. In the civilian sector, to be classified for public use, the aircraft must be on a federal, state, or local government contract for exclusive use for at least 90 days. Any people who are carried on board must be mission essential personnel only. Thank you.